Hello everyone. Happy World Card Making Day. Sorry about the glare on my glasses. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to close my curtains in future, I think. Just getting myself up on my iPad. So I can see myself. So one minute. All right. Happy World Card Making Day. All right. So I've got this little message on my screen. I'm going to hopefully share that to the right group. So this is really... I don't know if I'm sharing it right. Oh, dear. Never mind. I shared it. Wow. That's pretty cool. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm so sorry about the glare on my glasses. Oh, now I'm really itchy. <laughs> Happy World Card Making Day. Let me take them off. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's not... You can see my bags now. Oh, my goodness. How are we all? I hope we're all having a beautiful day. And is anyone crafting? Has anyone made any cards yet? That's what today's all about, making cards. So has anyone made any cards yet? So who do we have? Hey, Marlene and Lisa and Margaret and Trish. Thank you so much for watching. And Nita, I don't know if I already said your name. But hello everyone. So, how many cards have you all made? Midnight in the USA, Trish. Oh my gosh, that is dedication. I need to put my glasses on. I'm sorry, I can't read. I'm blind as a bat without them. So, you have to put up with the glare. And it's showing my bags too much. Oh, that light is not doing me any favors oh my goodness okay all right raw and uncut today my excuse is it's the weekend <laughs> trish you've made six cards already yay i haven't made any yet but i'm gonna make some today so you're about to start boy cards big boys and small boys marlene is that what you mean cool and hello Sharon and Sue and Kathy. Thank you all for jumping on and watching. All right, so World Car Making Day. I love that we have a day to celebrate what we do. It's what I do every single day. <clears throat> Sorry. So, you know, it's amazing that the world has a day just for it. So really, really cool. My plan today is to run through a promotion that um, we are having at the moment, Stamp Month's having, and then my own little um, promotion I've got going, and um, an ordering special, and then we're going to make some cards. Yay. I'm going to start with kits, because if you're a, a new to stamping, new to card making, um, it can s seem so overwhelming when you need so much product to make a card. And it's like, no, it doesn't have to be like that. You don't have to own everything to make some really beautiful cards. And if you can't, you don't have that design gene in you that you can't come up with nice, or you think you can't come up with nice ideas. Now, everyone can make a card, but whether you're your own worst critic is another thing. Um, but the kits are perfect for getting over that and just getting you creating and getting your cards to send to people. So we're going to start off with the designer series paper sale. I'm sure... Unless you've been living under a rock, possibly um, you probably all know that this sale is on. 15% off the selected papers. Okay, lots to choose from. There's six there and then there's a whole another page there. Another nine there. So, fantastic papers. They are all 15% off. So, jump in and um, grab them while they're around. Some really nice papers there. The next thing I wanted to cover is, I need my notes. I have an ordering special. If you haven't seen it on my page yet today, I have an ordering special. Everyone who orders today through me, now it can be a phone order, an email order, or on my online store, you will get a box of cards, card bases, sorry. 20, there's 20 card bases in these boxes. All various colors as you can see lots of variety of colors in there they are all cut up pre-scored ready to go so if you want a box of these card bases to get you creating get you crafting sorry about the glare um, then all you need to do is order with me today before midnight Brisbane time 
Now, you can um, email me the order today or call me today and place the order and you can pay tomorrow. If you get your ordering request to me today, um, then you get a box of cards, card bases, providing that you continue and pay in the next few days. So if it's easy for you to run to the bank and deposit the money into my account or do a transfer or some other way where I can't get the money instantly, as long as you've got your email request of what you want to me today and you pay in the next uh, two or three days, or oh, Monday's public holiday. So if you pay by the end of next week, say, so by the, um, <laughs> by the 9th, yes, the 9th, um, if you pay by then, you'll get one of these boxes of card bases, all right? So I have lots here to go, oh, okay, that I've just thrown them everywhere. Jeez. All right, so here's some, look, all very pretty, and they survived getting thrown across my desk. Oh, that's probably not a good start, is it? Anyway, oh, that one's got a scrumpled leaf. I'll have to redo that one. All right, so there are the card bases that are my ordering special. Um, orders valid for today only, okay? So get them in by midnight. Hey, Linda, how are you? And you'll get one of those card boxes, boxes of card bases. I have no idea what I'm talking about. All right, so let's get on to some crafting. You came here to see me make cards. Let's make some cards. So I'm going to flip you around and we're going to get creating. Now, I don't know how long I'm going to be on for. However long I feel like being on, I've got um, prepared to make some cards out of this paper pumpkin. And I'll explain why I'm showing you this when I show it to you. Another card kit that we have, which is an all-inclusive card kit. I'm going to make some cards out of there. And then I have a few cards that I have made up that I'm going to run through making as well. Okay, so um, if you're all bored of me by then, then I'll finish. If not, um, I might just grab some inspiration from you guys you can tell me a stamp set you want me to use ink colors you want me to use and we can just make things up as we go so um you're free to pop out and back in whenever you want um i'll go for as long as i feel like it or until my phone goes flat whatever comes first <laughs> all right it's well car making day we're meant to be making cards so let's just do that all day shall we probably not all day because you all get sick of me by then hey all right, so we're going to make these two later. Get the prettiness on there and there. Oh, so pretty. All right. Turn you around now and let's get creating, okay? So if you um, get a little bit uh, motion sickness, then look away while I turn the camera around and I'll let you know when it's safe to look back at the screen. Hey, Helen, thank you for joining me. And Heather, oh, lovely to have you here. All right, I'm going to switch switch the camera around and then turn yours around so if you get motion sickness look away now and here we go um that's a little bit crooked yeah i'm oh, sorry i'm gonna make you all seasick now aren't i all right, okay. So, turn just around. I'm going to turn some lights on so that you can see what I'm doing. All right. Now, hopefully that is pretty good. You can see enough. You just flick this up a little bit more. Oh, uh, that's where it wants to settle. Okay, that's what we're doing. All right. So, like I said, I wanted to create some cards out of this paper pumpkin sending sunshine kit. I've had a few people tell me they don't like this kit, so they didn't order it. And these are people who order a lot of stuff, a lot of kits off me, card kits and classes and stuff, but they don't like it. And I have a feeling it's because um, they haven't played with it, really. It, it looks really bright when you see it all together and in the promotional photos when you actually look at each individual card they're actually really nice and really modern and i i fall in love with them so this is what you get 
Now, we don't normally have paper pumpkin in Australia, so this is a special um, box that's been released globally. So we get to get it in Australia. You get this beautiful yellow tissue paper that I'm going to repurpose in my other fabric goods that I sell. And you get a few pamphlets. And the idea of this kit is you make up the cards and they give you extra stuff so that you can pop on a label, fill it with yellow stuff, pop on a label and send it to someone who needs cheering up. Now, this was inspired by COVID and lockdown, so I'm sure there's lots of people who could do with a box of sunshine. And that's Sarah. Ah, lovely Sarah. All right, and then you get the pamphlet with all the bits in it. Wait. Instructions that I can't open. Okay. Instructions, everything. You know, I made these samples up last night and I didn't use the instructions. They're so easy to do. You can just look at the picture of the cards and, and you should know what to do. So it comes with a, a black stamping spot. You get the um, glue dots and some mini dimensionals. And I've used some of mine in making these samples. You get some of the gorgeous self-adhesive sequins. And the stamp set. Love this stamp set. Now when you get these kits, once you've used up all the bits in the kits, which there's always extras of by the way, um, the stamp sets are fantastic to use by themselves. And because it's so sentiment heavy, it can go on any style of card, any product you use on a card. Really, really versatile. I love the sun. That is really cool. Alright, and then you get all these die cuts. They come in a sheet, and I've already popped them out of, whoops, out of the sheet. So that pineapple, I mean, just look at that. That is really nice. Watercolour, gold, who doesn't love that? The leaves for the lemons. Wait, and the lemons, you get some lemons, and the gold, all the gold um, foiling on each of them. And then that watercolour sun. The card bases. Okay, so you may think they look a little bit out there, but there's ways that you can minimize, if you don't like this strong watercolor effect, you can minimize that and make it more pastel. Just put a, a piece of vellum over the top. Instantly make it a more subtle card that might be more to your liking. So don't discredit this kit just because it's bright and bold. A lot of people like bright and bold. Younger people like bright and bold. If you've got teenagers in your life or young mums um, in their 20s, this is perfect for them. They love this style of cards. Oh no, is my sound a lot softer? Yeah, possibly because I've turned my phone around. I'm oh, sorry, can you still hear me? You might have to pop some headphones in, Linda. I am talking quite loud, so I always talk loud, you know that. <laughs> so I'm sorry that you're having troubles hearing me. Um, headphones will definitely improve that. Yeah, so these cards are perfect for the younger generation, um, not old timers like me. <laughs> um, yeah, so beautiful. I love this. Very classic. The gold and white stripe and that sun effect. Really nice, the sun rays. All right, so you also get, these are the cards that I've already made, envelopes. Really swanky, smart looking envelopes with the gold foiling on them. Very nice. So you get envelopes for all the cards. And these are the die cut sheets with all your labels in there. You just have to pop them out and stamp on them. These are stickers. So already cut, ready to just peel off and, and stick on your card. And then these are stickers as well. These aren't used on any of the cards, but this is what um, they envisage you using these as the label on the box. So if you want to send the box to someone, this would be your address label and this is how you would decorate the front of the box were you to send it to someone. If you don't want to send it to someone, you could easily use these to make another card or even use them on a scrapbook page. So lots of ideas there. Uh, that's just the cardboard that comes with it. That's it. We're at the end of the kit. So now, I made up these cards last night and seriously, they took me like 10 minutes. They're not hard at all. Everything's pre-cut. All you have to do is stamp and stick and that is it so if you look at them each individually i think they are really lovely cards i'm just going to put them here 
So that's the first one. Oh, hang on. It's a bit hard to see there on the yellow, isn't it? Let me move the box out of the way. All right. So here's our our first one. And again, like, just put your vellum. If that's too bright, put your vellum on the back um, to cover that brightness of that watercolour ink colour effect. And when you're using vellum, just remember that your adhesive normally shows through. So you're going to put your adhesive where it's not going to be seen. So you would put your adhesive like here and then stick your vellum on because this label here is going to cover your adhesive. Okay. So there's the second one. I love this one. Really, really love this. The, the pineapple doesn't look half as bright there at, when you put it on the card front as what it does when you're like holding it. So I think there's a real difference there. It just tones it down a little bit because that is quite bright. But again, add vellum. You know, like the boldness of those stripes, add vellum. Then this one is quite really simple and, and classic and not as, this is probably the, not the brightest one. <laughs> it's not very nice. I'm not saying it's stupid, no, but this is the least bright and in your face card in the pack, is what I'm trying to say. And then we have this one. This is the quickest one, I think. A bit more stamping on this one. Should have stamped the sun. All right, so now I'm going to make one of each really quickly because they are not hard. And I'm just going to use my samples so I know what I'm doing. All right, now I'm not going to use this black spot. Someone might find this randomly in the mail one day. Um... Yeah, because I already got my memento ink pad, so I don't need another black stamp as well. Oops. So, yeah, this might end up just in someone's letterbox one day. You just never know. All right, so for this card, move the others out of the way so you don't get confused. Do I need to zoom in? Please tell me if I need to zoom in. Um, all right, so for this one, you just put on the black dotted piece, which is actually a sticker. So just simply peel it off. Make sure I have my card opening the right way and not upside down. And let me just make sure I have the right card base. I don't have the right card base. Look at that. <gasps> Gosh. All right. You could swap them around. Like it didn't really matter. I could put, you know, this design on this card, this card base if I wanted to. But I just wanted to keep it simple and show you how to do these cards really easy this is a bit uh, dangerous for me trying to get this straight without using a ruler and in the middle which I did not succeed in doing but hey it's my own it looks good too okay wonderful all right so I just had to move oh, my trimmer out of the way because I actually don't need it for these cards uh, we just use this stripey dotty stamp here. Memento, and I should have re-inked my memento because it's getting a bit dry, but you know, this is real life crafting, people. Okay, we're just going to stamp that there. Doesn't have to be perfect. You could do it crooked if you wanted to. Um, now we need our tag for our sentiment. So it's the one with the gold on it. So just pop out one. And we need our sending sunshine. So this is a two stamps needed for this. You've got sunshine on one and then sending on another. But because they're clear photopolymer stamps, you can see exactly where you're stamping. You could line them up on the one stamp, on the one block, but they're clear. So you can do it without putting them on the same block. And apologies if my head gets in the way. I'm hoping you can still see what I'm doing. <coughs> oh, sorry, I've been talking too much. I feel like I'm talking so fast. I need to slow down. Alright, sending sunshine. I think I got a fingernail full of ink. Yes, I did. Yeah, that's the fun of it, isn't it? Alright, and we have our little sun up here. So 
so we're just going to stamp our little sun. Now you'll see this is round and it doesn't have a solid base to it, so it's like easily distorted. I could pull that out and it could be more of an oval. So if your photopolymer stamps get distorted like that when you go to put it on the block, just let it rest on your work surface and maybe just move it around a little bit so it relaxes back to its natural shape and then stick it on the block like block to stamp not stamp to block because I could have pulled that off and then put it on my block and it's a really weird shaped sun all right we don't want that so easy way to overcome that is pop it on your work surface let it sit and relax it should go back to its natural shape and then just put the block to it and you have a perfectly Cent, not centered, a perfectly shaped stamp back to its original shape. All right, now our sun is just going up here somewhere. I'm not even measuring, it's just going up here somewhere. There you go. If you're a regular, you'll know I'm not, I'm not a measurer, I'm not pedantic. It's just like, yeah, that's yep, yeah, good enough. Right, so we need dimensionals. Well, I'm going to use the ones that come with the pack. What am I doing? Here we go. So they give you little mini ones, which without fingernails can be a challenge, but all good. We'll make it work. Now in the um, instructions, I think, it, uh, actually that was for the other kit, but I'm sure this one's the same. They give you the dimensionals and the glue dots. So it's up to you whether you put things on with dimensionals or you like things flat. If you like things flat, use the glue dots. I think you can't have too many dimensionals in your life. So I always pop things up. And then the self-adhesive sequins. They pop off really easy, easy to stick on. Rule of thumb with embellishments is in uneven numbers. So there's our three. And there's the first card done. Now if I didn't gab on so much, it wouldn't have taken as long. So that's really quick and easy. So there's two cards I have ready to send this week. All right, so let's do this one. Now, if you are making cards for World Card Making Day and you share them to social media, then use the hashtag, if you're into hashtags, SU2020WCMD. Now, don't panic. I will put it in the um, comments on the video when I have finished and I've shared it to the page so when I finish the live I will definitely put the hashtags up and along with World Card Making Day Sam and I are having a a world what's it called World Card Sending Week now if you are a demonstrator hop on to the demonstrator planning place because there's a video there by Liz and they're offering some prizes um, by using the hashtags, you go into the draw to win some CSV credit. If you're not a Stamp Up Demonstrator and you want to be, then hey, you're in Australia, you know what to do, join my team. You can enter that competition. All you need to do is create cards, send them, and then use the hashtag of your, like, sending the cards. So it can't be any easier than that. And if you're just um, making cards as a customer, then use the hashtag because I'm sure Stampin' Up would love to see what you create with their products. Alright, so the sun is just on dimensionals. And now I need to find my tag. It must be this one. Alright, and we simply have hello. And don't forget my ordering special today. If you are new and missed the start of my video, Everyone who orders with me today gets a box of card bases. So here's one, for example. So there's 20 um, card bases in there of assorted colours. So order with me today and you'll get one of those um, boxes. Now with the hello, it's stamped to the right hand side because this tag sits under that sun. Um, so going back to my ordering special, bonus, whatever you want to call it. Um, you don't have to pay for the orders today. If you can't do PayPal or you don't want to 
shop my online store. Look, sorry, let me finish and then <laughs> I'm getting sidetracked with myself. All right, so you can order through my online store, which means you pay instantly today. If that doesn't suit you, you can email me what you want. You can call me with what you want. If you can't PayPal the money to me today or electronically transfer the money to me today, you can do that in the next few days. So if by Friday you have paid, then you get that box of card bases. So some people like to actually go to the bank and physically put, deposit the money into my account. Obviously you can't do that over the weekend or Monday, it's a public holiday. So I'll give you to Friday to do that and then you're still qualified to get um, one of those boxes of card bases. But you have to have called me with what you want today or email me with what you want to be able to get one of those boxes. Now, you see what I've done? Too much talking and I've stuck my son down and I can't stick my tag under there. So we're going to get two tags out of this one. I'm going to just chop it off. And now I can sit that under there. And then I have another one now I can use for another project. Cool. And I didn't cut that straight, as you can tell. I have a crooked eye, if you don't know. Um, but it doesn't matter because it's going to be hidden under the sun. And I'm using liquid glue on this because I want to make sure I, I can slide it in enough to hide my crookedness. All right, there we go. So who's crafting along with me while I'm making cards? Obviously, you won't be making the ones the same as me, or you might be. But who is taking the opportunity to craft, make cards while you're watching me? You didn't know about the challenge, Sue? I know, it's, um, yeah. <laughs> it's on the demonstrator planning place. It's um, under announcements. Uh, you won't see it. You have to go look at, see all announcements to see it. It was done by Liz, the UK area manager, um, during the week. I only stumbled across it. Um, yesterday so I yeah so I wouldn't have known about it either but there you go that's the second card done see these are quick and easy all right so here we go our pineapple card I love this pineapple all right you're just gonna stick this pineapple on you're crafting Sue excellent what are you making what products are you using Oh, sorry, so many questions. <laughs> Margaret, you're not crafting. You're just watching. You got the shingles. Oh no! Oh my! I have been there, Margaret. I am so sorry. I can empathise with you. Oh, shingles are one of the worst things you can get. So painful. Oops! I nearly made this card upside down. Oh, oh no! You know, I had my shingles start. Christmas Eve last year and I still occasionally get the pain oh it's really bad all right so here we go we have our pineapple on just stuck down then you're going to put this black sticky dot strip whatever you call it across try and get it straight now I have no excuse for getting this crooked because I have lines to follow but um, I still feel that that's crooked Oops. Oh, never mind. It's okay. It's okay. We'll live with it. Alright, another tag. Now, just because there are um, pictures and, and instructions for how to make these cards, you can totally change these up. So, you could make them your own. You don't have to do what is in the kit. I actually was thinking of getting another kit because I don't want to make cards but I want to do a scrapbook page with them because I think like for a summer scrapbook page these are ideal and you could use these card fronts cut them up use it as a photo layer like put your photos on that I think it'd be brilliant so I'm actually going to get another kit I think and do that because I would love to um, see how that comes together I think it'll be really cool okay so we are now I'm going to stamp this sentiment so this is really easy I'm sorry do I shake the table when I stamp I tend to be a hard stamper <laughs> yeah. 
you're using the sailing home stamp set and the smooth sailing dies nice very nice Sue excellent masculine cards all right let me move these before I end up with them all on the floor just going to dimensionalize this So far I have four cards ready to send. So you don't have to spend a lot of time crafting, but it's so relaxing. It gets you away from the housework, away from other things you probably should be doing, but you need your you time. So crafting is a perfect you time. And don't ever feel guilty that you are spending time crafting because everyone needs to fill their cup up. So your <coughs> sorry, your cup gets drained all the way through the week with commitments and work and taking the kids here, there and everywhere, whatever is in your life. You need to replenish your batteries and you know, do something for you. Crafting is not there's nothing better than crafting to do that. Besides sleeping, then yeah, crafting is the next best thing. All right, so there's another one done. All right, we are flying through these. I could probably do it quicker if I stop talking. Last one. This one is super easy. This is probably the most, I was going super easy, but this is the most detailed one. You have to do the most on this card than any other card in the kit, I think. But it's still not hard. It's still sticking and, and a little bit of stamping. So this big black spotty bit at the back is actually just a peel off label. I mean, how easy is that? And I'm not going to measure where it goes. I'm eyeballing it. If you're a regular, you know that's how I craft. And you know if you get my card kits, um, some of my instructions are measurement-wise. It can be a little bit lacking. But hey, if ever you want the measurements, you just have to ask me. Um, right, so we're going to stick a lemon on. I like these lemons have the cute little gold spots. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm not even going to try actually because... It won't end well. You won't see it. A couple of little glue dots on here. And you'd be surprised. These little glue dots are enough to hold it in place, you know. So you don't have to cover the whole thing with lots of glue. Um, and then we're going to put... Uh, first do the leaves. Let's do the leaves. There's leaves tucked under this guy here. So I'm just putting the one glue dot on the... Oh, I lost it on my fingernail. Oh no, where'd it go? Oh, there we go. Who else finds dimensional backings everywhere? Oh my gosh. I find them in the weirdest places. What's the weirdest place you have found a dimensional backing? Because they seem to have a life of their own. And they end up everywhere. All right, this front lemon is on dimensionals. This is going to sound gross, but I'm waiting one day to find one in my dog's poo, you know. Because, like, it eats everything. And I'm just waiting one day to find this little dimensional back in. Because he just can't help himself. Anything that goes in his mouth, near his mouth is like food, according to him. Alright, and then this lemon has two little, of the, two little leaves on it. Two little of the leaves, I was going to say. That's, I've lost that glue dot, got it stuck to me. Not the best grammar. I think my daughter's turned the air conditioning off. It's starting to get hot. No. One. So we only use, this is the last card, and look at all the extras I have left. So that's all the leaves I have left. I have all these lemons left, all these suns left, and all these pineapples left. Wow. Am I missing something? <laughs> Why do I have so much left? I know they always give you extras, but that's really cool. I actually might be able to um, make a scrapbook page with all these without having to buy another kit, but hey, I like it, so I might just buy another kit anyway. 
And if you haven't um, seen yet, there's another paper pumpkin being released globally. And it's a Christmas themed one that's coming out in November. So stay tuned for my page. If you haven't liked my um, Simply Saving with Narell page, please do so that you kept up to date with all my updates. Hop over to my blog and follow my blog. I also have Instagram and Pinterest. And of course my YouTube, which is a little bit neglected, but I'll get there. <laughs> so now our last sentiment. Again, just with the black ink. Sorry if I bounce the table. Oh yes, and this ink pad does need re-inking, never mind. You can still read it, not too bad. And then this one is popped up on dimensional. No, it's not. I tell a lie. It's just adhesive. So using what's coming, what you come, the, geez. <sighs> using what comes in the kit. There we go. I got it out. So these kits are really good. You get everything you need, except the um, acrylic block. But everything else um, is included. So you can take it on the run if you've got to wait for kids somewhere doing the school thing all the sporting stuff you go to take a kit with you and then you can quickly build up your stash of kits because everything's included and um, yeah and just make sure you have a block and then you're ready to go all right we are done there we go and I still have all those sequins left cool and we haven't used one stamp set. One stamp, not stamp set, one stamp I haven't used. So that's okay. Extra stamp. Bonus. So these are the cards again. Okay. Look at that. So that is, I don't know how many we do. Two, three, eight cards. Nice and bright, but again, if you don't like them being that bright, then add your vellum at the back on top of your paper so it calms it down. Margaret, you always have a kit for taking on holidays. That's a brilliant idea. They're good for kids too, like school holidays. If you're stuck for something for the kids or the grandkids to do, grab a kit and let them go for it. And don't panic if they don't make it exactly the same as the pictures because that's where creativity comes from is using your imagination and just doing it. So never quash a kid's imagination. Let them go for it. I can say that. I don't have grandkids. <laughs> and I have to get over, well, when, I was, when my daughter was younger, I had to get over that. Mommy, I want to help. I was like, oh, but you can't use my precious things. <laughs> I was a bit mean. But, you know. Now, bear with me. I'm just going to clean these stamps before I go any further. And we move on to the next kit. And then I'll just pop that all away. Oops, I think I need to refill my stamp and mist. Yes, yeah, Sue, so I love the vellum as a softener. And even on our, um, some of our designer series paper, I'm not a really bright, in-your-face type of crafter. So a lot of the papers I find are too bright. So vellum's my go-to for calming them down. And even if, you know, you do like the bright stuff, the recipient might not. So you have to always think of who you're making it for as well and send them a much calmer card. And sometimes it changes the whole look of the um, the DSP. It's brilliant. And the other trick I learned a while ago now is um, if you've got the white craft ink, if you rub that over the bright patterned papers, as, as um, it mutes it as well. So it's yeah, really handy. Lots of ways you can change the look of paper, even if it's a colour you don't like. A little bit of a Another ink pad colour over the top can always change it as well. 
All right, we just quickly pop these away. Oops. Okay, so that's our Sending Sunshine Paper Pumpkin Kit. It's still available. It's $37. Sorry, you probably can't hear me over all that rattling. All right, I finished rattling now. $37. Um, you'll find it in my online store. If you want to order one, you don't want to order through my online store, shoot me an email or call me later. Don't call me now because you'll stop my live. <laughs> call me later <laughs> um, to place your order if you want one of these. Just one of... So this is Paper Pumpkin, which you don't normally have, but we have lots of other kits. So have a look at our online store. Even if you don't want to order through the online store, take a look at what's available. All right, so now we're going to go on to another kit. This is an all-inclusive kit. And I can't remember the name of it. You need to add white ink to your order. Yeah, I love the white ink scraping across. I had I once had a really bold, so bright paper that I had to use. It was part of a um, design team thing. We had to use this paper. And it's like, oh, I just looked at it and wanted to vomit. It was just so in your face. So I got out the the white ink, dragged it across, and it's so much better and I could use it so much easier. All right, so this is an all-inclusive kit called Looking Up Card Kit. All right, it's $50 but it's got everything you need, including the block. So I'm going to pop my blocks away. And kits are great. Sorry if I'm making lots of noise. Kits are a great Christmas present. If you have a crafter and you don't know what to buy them, grab a kit. An all-inclusive kit is better because it's got everything in there. Um, they may not be a stamper. They may do other crafts and you want to introduce them to stamping. Then an all-inclusive kit is great because it's got the ink pad and it's got the acrylic block. So they don't need to already own anything to be able to make these cards, okay? So this is the Looking Up card kit. And I'll show you the cards and then I'll show you what's in the kit. So these again are quite simple cards, which is perfect for someone who's a beginner or not that confident beautiful cards. These are more, I think, male-oriented cards. A lot of our card kits are geared towards females, but this is definitely a male, I think a male-based card, but then I shouldn't be so gender-specific. Um, yeah, I love this. I love that plane. Oh, I just really love that plane. So they're the cards that you make, and you get enough in the kit for, I believe, 15 cards. I think there's three of each in the kit, but I will, yeah, there's three of each card. So you get to make 15 cards and it's $50 and includes everything. You get a leaflet that has a beautiful picture on the front and you have these gorgeous envelopes that come with it and instructions. A full colour picture of each card with a simple numbered instructions um, guide and there's one for each card. Okay, really simple to do. I did these last night without reading the instructions so, you know, not that hard and it comes in several languages um, German, French, Japanese and English of course and the one thing I noted which is really handy and I didn't read till after I finished the cards last night because I had leftover bits that I went hmm I didn't use any of them on the cards until I read the brochure see sometimes it pays to read things first because I'll show you when I finished the cards I had these sheets of die cuts left three sheets of die cuts and i'm sitting there thinking surely they would not have included extra bits that are not used on any of the cards and i went that seems really strange to me what have i missed and then i read this you can layer the printed die cut images that's these over the identical images on the cards for a 3d effect I hear them using stamp and dimensionals and I went oh that is brilliant so that takes this kit from your beginner of just sticking and pasting and having a flat card made with raised um, sentiment to doing something a little bit more detailed which is popping these out and putting them over the top but popping them up to add dimension 
I thought that is a brilliant add-on to this kit. Um, and if you don't want to do that, then you have three whole sheets of these to create more cards with. And again, I reckon this is screaming out for a scrapbook page. So if you're a scrapbooker, and I've heard this quite a lot, Stampin' Up! don't have supplies for scrapbooking. No, we do have supplies for scrapbooking. Everything we sell, you can use for scrapbooking. Don't ever let anyone tell you there's nothing in our catalogue for scrapbooking. I'm a scrapper and I still use all our supplies for scrapping. So you get the card bases, obviously, in this kit. Let me just find my others. All right, so these are the other card bases. And again, if you don't want to use these for cards and you are a scrapper, right, think outside the box. Cut that off. If you're into the pocket pages, there's a perfect pocket page filler. Add a sentiment. And, you know, what's wrong with that? That you can use as, like, cut it off. That's a base for a photo. Like a layer under a photo. So many things. If you're not a card maker, you can make these, use these for all sorts of things. If you're not a pocket page scrapbooker, and you do the traditional 12 by 12s, this can still be used, that can still be used on a scrapbook page. Like, so much versatility. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. I'll get off my little soapbox there. It hurts me when people say we don't have things for scrapbooking. We do. Alright, now, this also comes with a Bermuda Bay um, ink spot, which I already have the Bermuda Bay ink pads. There's another one going into my stash to find its way randomly to someone's mailbox. You get the stamp set really good generic sentiments in this that you can use for lots of occasions so we have i'm so very thankful for you happy birthday thanks so much upside down i can't read upside down feel better soon that's for margaret and the what i hear congratulations are in order some little birds and a star Really cool generic sentiment stamp set. Wonderful. You can use that for lots of things. What else do you get? You get, again, the pre-cut tags. All you got to do is pop them out and use them. Then you get these foil, copper foil stickers for the cards. So lots and lots in this kit. And, of course, look at these gorgeous envelopes. Ah, oh, pretty. Oh, I didn't realise there was different designs. Oh, yeah, of course. To go with the different cards. You've got your palm tree envelope, aeroplane envelope, rain envelope, and your balloon envelope, hot air balloon, and your trees. Really nice. And they're all different inside. Like all different patterns for the lining. Really cool. And they are such good quality. Amazing. So there you go. I don't know how I convinced you to buy the kit yet. It's really good. I'm not here as a selling, this is not a selling day, okay? But if you if you like it, of course, you can buy it from me. I'm here to just craft because it's World Card Making Day and that's what we should be doing on a day dedicated to what we love. So why not? Now, let's get and make some cards. Too much gabbing again. Here we go. Now you get your uh, glue dots again and their dimensionals. You get the full size dimensionals this time in this kit. And I'm just going to make one of each to show you how easy they are to do. But I'm going to add the, um, the 3D bits to these ones, alright? So we'll start with our cityscape. Just grab the card. Now, some people struggle when they're doing a card if they've made it from scratch and they've folded scored and folded the card and they find that it keeps moving around because it sits like it doesn't sit flat sometimes it can be like where's one i can show you like you sort of like see how it sits up a little bit there's nothing saying you can't design your card and then fold it so cut it score it and leave it flat it's much easier if you're struggling to get things straight and sitting nicely and the reason is because your card is not flat just leave it flat don't fold it until you're done really easy way to get over that 
that issue. All right, so this one, the black spotty bit is already on the card. It's printed on the card. So all we need to do is stick on our copper foil um, bit at the back and stamp our our um, label. Now I've got to tell you, <laughs> the, I made these last night, these samples, and I'm looking at this sheet, okay? And I'm going, that, that is not the right shape for that. How does that fit on there? How do I get all this copper edge all the way around? Like I'm going to have a bit here and a bit here. Mm, okay. So, look what happens when you take it off. <laughs> See, I'm sure not everyone is as silly as me. Oh, no, it was late last night. That's my only excuse. Peel it off. Now, be gentle when you peel these off because they are really um, quite thin, those stems. But look at that. See? It's the right shape. On the sticker sheet, it's angled, so it looks odd. And it's like, oh, I just couldn't get my head around that. It was so funny. Oh, it amused me for a while, thinking the rail is so silly sometimes. Uh, Alright, so that just goes on here. Make sure that your points are sort of up and down. And it's not crooked. If you want it crooked, have it crooked. Oh, that got me last night. I'm going, oh, it must be late. Must be time to go to bed. <laughs> Alright, so now I need to grab my Bermuda Bay ink. And I'm going to use the acrylic block that comes with the kit and we want thanks so much this one so this is a really good way to build up your acrylic blocks too just buy a kit uh, the all in, all included kits whatever they're called <laughs> all inclusive that's what i'm saying oh look i've been talking too much but thank you everyone for still sticking around that's so cool I hope you're all crafting while you're watching. It's lunchtime, you're probably having lunch. Well, it's after lunch, isn't it? I haven't had lunch. Woe is me. No. <laughs> I had a late breakfast. Alright, so there's our thanks so much. It just goes onto there with dimensionals. Now you can put it flat if you don't want it raised. Totally optional to raise it. I do like I just like a little bit of um, dimension. All right, so now let's have a look at our extra bits of what we can put on this card because we've got these bits. I think it would be the trees, so I'm going to pop these trees out of this die cut piece. All right, so that's the card that I did last night before I realized we had these bits and you could just pop them up on there look at that perfect I'm gonna raise them and we have a little bit more interest in the card but again you can save them and use them for something else you don't have to add them onto the cards if you don't want to but I think it's an excellent excellent that's a new word an excellent op Oh, look at that. Cute little trees. Alright, there we have the first card. With and without the extra die cuts, but pretty much the same and a dodgy um, stamping. Yeah, never mind. Alright, so there's card one. Next, our raindrop card. Again, I'm going to leave it flat because it's sometimes easier just to get things on there. Now, this one, we just have the gold, no, copper circle sticker. Again, careful of these bits because they are um, very delicate. But I find if I run my thumb near them, it helps, like, lower away the sheet that they're on and I'm not like pulling hard on those elements so this one here is in danger of breaking there so I'm just going to pull each of these leaves up hopefully that will avoid that breaking there we go we got it 
little extra bits in there. Oh my gosh, this adhesive is so good sticking to my fingers. Uh, which way do I want it to go? I don't know. That tall dog looks. That will do. There we go. And now we just want our circle. That's already die cut for us. Clean our stamp. So, how are we all going? We're all chugging along. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. It's beautiful weather up here in Queensland today, in Brisbane. I hope it's nice wherever you are. Um, what do I want? Feel better soon. There we go. Couldn't see it for looking. Once we've done these, I'm going to move on to my two cards that I designed. So they're a little bit more advanced, a little bit more detailed. Oh, look at that. Dimensional backings everywhere. All right, inking up. Now with a circle, don't even have to worry that it's straight because it's a circle. Margaret, 26 in Melbourne, that's nice. That's nice spring weather. All right, dimensionals on the back of this. So how long have you had the shingles for, Margaret? Oh, that's a horrible time you must be going through. And apparently you can get, sorry, bear of bad news if you didn't already know, but apparently you can get them again. So I didn't like that, hearing that bit of noise, that bit of noise, that bit of news. Okay, right, our sentiment is on there. And then we have these four little raindrops. I'm actually going to stick them, I think, on my sentiment bit because they're going to get lost on the actual like card front because it is full of raindrops. Okay, I think I need tweezers for these. Two weeks. Really hope you get better soon. No, don't look at my ink pot. I'm going to try and keep that off camera. It's disgusting. Alright, so just popped a little bit of glue on there. You probably can't see it. I'm going to stick one um, upside down raindrop. Whoops. Raindrop there. Next to it. And I'm breaking my rule of embellishments in uneven numbers. Just they gave me four raindrops in the on the sheet, so I'm gonna use four raindrops. Okay, another one here. I recently cut my nails, so little things like this I need tweezers for now. Oh. Whoops, bit much glue there. Alright, so this is another one done. A good way to get your cards laying really flat is always use a bone folder because it help, it really helps to lay them flat. So there's the second one. Cool. Alright, palm trees. I think this is my favourite. Just reminds me of the beach and nice summer days, sitting by the water, doing nothing. Okay, so this one just has the copper, um, what are they called? I don't know there. Just, it's not a triangle, it's a, I don't know, what's the proper name for that? How easy that peels off. So pretty. And then it, it is the width of the card, so just wherever you want to put it. It's 
straight across. Whoops, make sure it's straight. Whoops. Here we go. Our sentiment label is this time the one with the blue or green around it. And I'm so very thankful for you. I'm so very thankful you're all watching today. Thank you for spending some time out of your day with me. And like I said um, before, I don't know how long I'm going to be on here till I get tired of talking, till you get tired of watching, till my phone goes flat. I don't know. <laughs> We're just having fun, crafting and hanging out. Look at that, I got a blob off my ink pad. Oh, I'm not very happy about that. Ugh. It was a foreign object on my ink pad and I didn't see it. Normally I'd turn it over and tamp on the other side, but it doesn't have the border around there. So, uh, it's still there, it's still stuck. It's a bit of adhesive. You know what, I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to grab a Bermuda Bay stamp and write marker. I'm going to stamp it and we're going to make our own border. Because there's two sides to every bit of paper and I didn't like that blob on my sentiment. I'm going to grab a ruler and my marker. And again, there's going to be no precise measuring with this, and sorry if my head gets in the way. I'm just going to draw a line. Oh my gosh, this really shows me how my script on my glasses is not very good. All right. Now this is not going to be perfect and if you were the measuring type and it worried you then go right ahead and measure all the way around the same distance in pencil and go over it with your marker but I'm improvising so that we get the same look without a compromised stamped image. There we go. So that was pretty painless. Doesn't look too different. Look at that. No one's going to know. Pop up our blodgy side on dimensionals. Right, and then on our die cut sheet, we've got a couple of palm trees. Right, so do they go there? They go wherever I want them to go, really, don't they? Let's put them there in front. Ah, oh, they can look so good. Now, because this is really skinny, a dimensional or even a mini dimensional won't fit there. So what you do is you grab your scissors and there's an edge all the way around your sheet of dimensionals. So you just cut into it and cut skinny strips. And then they are perfect for your little skinny things like your tree break, tree um, trunks is what they call. Don't need a lot. Oh, am I sticking? Just one down there should be enough to pop it up. Now 
You could put these over existing palm trees, I guess, but I'm a rebel and do my own thing. Oops, that one's a bit close to the edge, that dimensional. Reposition that one. Okay, there we go. So cool. Again with the phone folder. I've only got one out on my desk, I know, but I don't know where it is. So just as well I have a few. <laughs> okay, there's card number three with the raised die cuts and without. Really cool and quick and easy. Balloons are next. Okay, this one we have the little circles bit. It's on the copper, uh, what's it called? Foil sticky sheet thing. Mm. It just goes straight across the top of that black stripe bit that's already printed on the card front. Can't get much simpler than these, seriously. These are so good, quick and easy, help you build your stash. Amazing card kits. So for those that are making cards today, who are you making them for? And how many do you plan on making? Alright, this has happy birthday on it. And don't forget, if you're new watching, and if you've been here from the start, I'm sorry, I'm going to keep repeating it, but don't forget the uh, paper sale that's on, our DSP sale, or our patterned papers, select range, are 15% off, I think there's um, 15, off the top of my head, I think there's 15 patterned papers that are 15% off. For the month of October so jump over to my online store and have a look and I have my ordering bonus or special today only because of World Card Making Day every order placed through me today gets a box of card bases of assorted colors so you can order through my online store I will put a link up once this video is finished at the top giving you the link to my store. You can email me or call me. After I finish the video, you can call me. <laughs> um, and if you can't pay for your, or your order today, as long as you call me or email me with your list of what you want, you have until Friday to pay and then you will still get the box of card bases. All right, so there's three little balloons on this die cut sheet. So I just, for those who are new, who haven't seen, this is the, uh, a crooked sample whoops, of um, the box of card bases you'll get of assorted colours. So 20 of them in there. So with this card, you actually have a place to put the balloons. So it's, you really can't add any extras. I don't think it'll be way too crowded. So you're just going to pop them up on the ones that are there. And I'm just putting one dimensional on each. You don't need a lot. Just enough to get a bit of height. This one will need two. It's a bit bigger. Oops. Fingers must be sticky from glue or something. They're a bit sticking to me. Pop him down there. Alright, so for this orange one, I want him to sit on top of this one but higher so I'm actually going to put double dimensionals on him her whatever it's a balloon <laughs> so just putting one on top of the other see so you can see it's a lot thicker just going to give it a little bit of added height so that it sits proud of that pink one and not on top of it Oh, 
Okay. If, of course, you are mailing these cards and that is not going to go through the mail sorter or you're going to have to pay large letter rates, um, then don't do the double dimensionals because they will charge you more. Again, with the bone follower. And there we have that hot air balloon card. I think I need to pop dimensionals under there actually. This basket needs to be raised a bit, so let's pop another two under there because it's flapping in the breeze. There we go, much better. Okay. Oh, cute. Love the hot air balloons. Alright, last one. Here's our little aeroplane. Alright, we have our what looks to me like film. You know the um old fashioned film movies one? That's what this looks like. This die cut. I love it. I love this copper foil these stickers. So cool. Alright. Then we just need our sentiment. Congratulations is in order. And our last die cut, which is the one that's falling out, the stripes on it. And you have the stripes on the left. that it's totally straight because that's just me I'm sure it's good I really know I'm just watching the um, my iPad is a little bit delayed and I can see every time I stamp I shake the whole desk I'm so sorry I need to tap lighter all right this again is on dimensionals but it's optional you can just use the blue dots not dimensionals Line it up with the right hand edge. That should mean that it's straight. And then we get to put on this really cool biplane. Oh, this is so cool. I love this plane. Alright, there's one die cut sheet used. And I still have another two that I think I'm going to use on scrapbook pages. Now this one, you can just put it straight on top. So, we will do... A dimensional in the middle and I'm thinking I want to do uh, if I fit another one there this one I think needs a few more dimensionals because it's uh, like bits and pieces then I'm going to cut the edge because I want some on the wheels some on the very tips here at the top so that would be um, at risk of getting folded or caught up when you're placing it in the envelope so just using the edges of the dimensional sheet little wheels and then hopefully the rest just lines up perfectly and there we go <gasps> that is so cool look at that our 3d aeroplane oh i love it that's really cool maybe that's my favorite card now so there we have the looking up card kit so with and without the 3d balloons our 
palm trees, our raindrops and our city scene, each with and without the popped up die cuts. That's a really versatile kit. Again, it's called the Looking Up Card Kit. It's all inclusive. You get everything you need to complete the kit, including the acrylic block and the ink spot. It's $50. If you want it, then please order on my online store today and you'll get my bonus. Or email me, or even Facebook message me, or call me. All my contact details should be easy to find on my Facebook page. If not, you can um, just message me. And I'm happy to help. So I'm just going to pack all this up now so that we can get on to our last two cards. I think I've bored you all enough now. <laughs> so there's some more. Two, four, six, so another ten cards I can send off this week. Just going to randomly select people I know and send all these cards out this coming week. I've got all the dimensional stuff to my ruler, all the backings. Oh my goodness, oh now they all fell off. You just clean up a little bit because otherwise I'll get into such a mess. Pack away my tools, clean my stamps and then we'll get on to the next one. Sorry, that probably shakes the whole screen as well. Oh, I'm gonna put my block in there. All right, next. I made these two cards to demonstrate today. So I'm using, if I can get them out of my little bag, the woven hair looms, I think that's how you say it, stamp set, and the Forever Fern stamp set, and the matching dies. And I'm just going to make the same cards, but in a different colorway. Um, because sometimes when you look at a card sample or you might see a card online somewhere and you go, that's really nice, but I don't like the colours, so I'd never make it those colours. Um, or you see a card and you go, mm, I don't know, you're not quite sure whether you like it. Changing the colour scheme can change the way something looks and can totally change your point of view. So these are done in Granny Apple Green, Bermuda Bay and Night of Navy and I think today I'm going to do that in a pinks so that we can see the difference in pinks and I'm using the artistry to get the, the right wording I'm not stuck in the bag artistry blooms designer series paper and it has, and this is the one, one of the papers that's 15% off. So this is one of the ones I was saying earlier, if it's too bright and in your face, this is perfect for adding vellum over the top or using the white ink pad scrape over the top just to change the look of it. Perfect. So that's the one I've used on my card. But I thought for today, I would use, I'm not sure about that one. Let me have a look. This one, it's pretty much the same, but in your pinks and oranges. Okay, and what I am gonna show you while I'm talking about how vellum and things can make a difference is to show you exactly, let me just grab a bit of vellum. All right, this one I already die cut a bit out of, but you can see the difference. So if you don't like it so bright like that, see how vellum can change it? Totally 
doesn't neutralize it, but it calms it down. That's the best way I can describe it. So it's much nicer if you don't like the brights and it's not in your face. This is the pink I'm going to be using today. Does exactly the same thing. Really nice. But what the other thing that I've said that you can do that I will show you now. If I can find my white ink pad, now I've said that I don't know where it is. Hang on a minute. Bear with me. Found it. Okay. Grab your white ink pad. I'm hoping this has not gone dry because I have not used it for so long. Alright, move these out of the way. And because the um, ink goes this way, let me grab a scrap bit of paper. I don't want ink all over my grid paper. And I don't know how inked this is. Looks like you could do with re-inking, but you'll get the gist of what I'm trying to explain. Alright, you just Scrape it over the top. Oh, I might need more ink because it's very dry. Oh no, it's not going to work. All right, I'm going to have to do it a few times. Actually, I'm going to swipe it. There we go. Now, if I had more ink in this, it would be easier to demonstrate. I wouldn't have to continually like do it so much. You could just do across the once. Now just bear in mind the white is a sticky ink, so it will stay wet for a while. And I'm getting finger marks in mine at the top because I'm having to hold it so much. And I need new ink. Yes, that would be perfect, Sue, on the magenta cardstock because it is a bright. <laughs> bright, bright, bright. Alright, so you can see the white ink the difference it's made on that paper and look um yeah okay be prepared to get messy with this technique but there you go i think you can see the difference that makes so there's the my other tip for calming down the paper you can see there the difference straight away like yeah all right so try that i'd love to know if you try it um, what paper you do it on now, I need a baby wipe. <laughs> I am all white and inky. Alright, that's better. Get that off. Now, let's go on to these cards. I'm going to do the pink. Basically, everything else is going to be the same. It's just a different colour scheme. Alright, so I'm going to make two cards today and I wanted to show you how to make a card or a couple of cards from your A4 piece of paper. When I first started making cards and I've had a few um, customers over the years say the same thing to me. They look at the cards and they go, how on earth do I get a card out of a piece of paper like that? If I fold it like that, it's too long. If I fold it like that, it's too big. How do you cut a card? from a piece of white cardstock and I had when I started um, let me grab one of those cards out and so I'll show you what I used to do okay so I would grab a card I already had and I would pop it on my piece of card like this and I'd mark it out and cut out my card and then I go geez one card per piece of A4, are you kidding me? Like I've got all this waste. And it frustrated me for a long time until I realized that, well, if I cut it in half, I can get two cards, just fold it in half, or I can get, and then later again, I saw people making these 10 fold cards, which I think are much more stable than your average, um, your normal fold card and I went oh my gosh that is brilliant you just turn it over cut it long ways and you have two cards these things 
as crafters and, and card makers, if you've been around for a while, you don't realise that people don't know the basics. And I hate people wasting cardstock. So just know it's really easy to get your A4 piece and make cards, two cards out of it. I had several customers who would never buy cardstock from me to make their cards. They always bought the pre cut and scored cards from other places. But they'd used all Stampin' Up! products on their cards. And I'm going, why do you do that? Until one day they went, well, we don't know how to make the card bases. So if you don't know, here's your tip today. You're just going to cut your card <coughs> sorry, in half. Long ways or across this way, it doesn't matter. You're still going to get two cards from it. So I'm doing tent fold cards today. So there I have my two card bases. Now I don't measure and score. I am quite, I'll admit, I'm quite slack with that. I just fold it in half. There's one card base. Now another tip also, your trimmer sometimes will leave an edge when it goes down the track will leave like a raised edge so I always make sure that that's on the inside of my card when I fold them you can easily get rid of it just run over it with a bone folder but um, I'm a lazy crafter so there we go our two card bases ready to go on our first sample I'll do this one first I just stamped the stamp that's what you normally do with a stamp, isn't it? Stamp the stamp. Right, this one. I've used this one here. And you could, if you were so inclined, use the Stamparatus, which would mean that it's everyone is straight and it's evenly spaced. And that's good. But I sort of wanted, like I wasn't worried if it went off track because I wanted a bit of a rustic type look to it. So we'll just get a oh, big enough block out for this stamp. Right, now I'm going to use, uh, what colours in this paper actually? So use the same colours. Oh, where'd it go? I'm sorry, I chucked the packet of paper on the floor and then I couldn't reach it. So we have Calypso Coral Daffodil Delight. Um, Magenta Madness, Bingo Melody, Melon Mambo. Let's go the Melon Mambo, the uh, Mango Melody, and Daffodil Delight, I think I'll go with. Alright, so there are our three colours. I'm going to start with the lightest, so I'm going to start with the Daffodil Delight. And I'm going to stamp off, so I don't want like a full ink colour, I want it a bit paler. So I'm going to ink up the stamp and then I'm going to stamp off on scrap paper. That looks a very dark daffodil delight, I hope I've inked that up with the right um, ink pad, that's a worry. And then just stamp down. Yeah, this is going to be painful to watch, I'm sorry, because I have to clean the stamp between each stamping. So, you know, if you're making cards, then you won't mind because you're looking at the what you're doing anyway. Then go Melody. Off. Oh, I have a problem with my Mango Melody ink pad. It needs re-inking. I'm not going to do that right now. So let's swap out that. The pumpkin pie. It's still an orange. We'll still get the same effect. Just so it looks like it's a healthier, in a healthier state, that ink pad. Alright, so let's oops, try this again with pumpkin pie. And stamp off so that it is lighter. I'm just cleaning the stamp off screen because I've got it set up over on the side. 
And then our last colour is Melon Mambo. And I'm just going to repeat this all the way down the card front. I'm not worried about if it's even, if they're lined up, if they're going over each other. It's just a background I'm trying to achieve. Alright, so then back to our Daffodil Delight. Now this stamp is wider than your stamp pad. So if you were to stamp just like that, and then over to your card, you'll probably find that you move the stamp over and you'll end up with a bit down the side that has no ink on the stamp. So when you have a long stamp, diagonal is your best way to go and make sure you cover the whole stamp, run it backwards and forwards a few times. Okay. Pumpkin pie, I know this color is not in the, the paper, but Mango Melody had a bit of a problem. I love doing repeating patterns. I just I find them so much fun and actually really relaxing. And I'm liking this colour scheme better than the blues. Anyone else feel the same? You can see the blue just over off the screen a little bit. Off to the left. Pie is our last colour. So if you don't have our grid paper, it is perfect to craft on because like after I finish this card I'll probably throw this away because it's well after these two cards because it's really messy now. But it just protects your work surface and gives you um, peace of mind that you're not gonna ruin your best table or put ink on the tablecloth it's not going to come off okay so bring this back next step I just stamped the forever fern fern <laughs> this one in memento Something's going to fall over here very soon, I just know it. So if you hear a crash, it's either my trimmer falling off the drawer that I've got pulled out holding it, which has my blocks in it, and I've just moved the trimmer to get this block out, and now the trimmer's a little bit teetering. So if you hear a crash, that's what it is. All right, now I know this is a distinctive stamp. So you'll see it hasn't stamped a solid black. That's because the stamp is designed to put ink down at different levels in like layers. So it's going to put more ink in some places and less in others. Really cool, cool stamps. And it won't stamp a solid image. So that's not a mist stamp. That's how the stamp is designed to be. And I didn't want a solid um, image anyway. I want it to be more like a background to the die cut. So that works in this instance. So it's going to do three. Oh, now it's getting dodgy on the desk. There's stuff everywhere. Oh my gosh. Now, I'm going to use the Forever Flourishing dies to cut out the one die cut. These coordinate with the Forever Fern stamp set. I'm going to grab some black. I'm going to use a new stamp cut and emboss, which I can't bring into view. I'm sorry. Because I just, <laughs> I have so much on my desk. It's not going to happen. If you want me to show you it, I can pop back on later and give you a demonstration of it if you haven't seen it. Um, I do have a video somewhere on my page um, which shows it I can load that video again if you really want to see it sorry I know it shakes the desk when I do that all right so here's our cute little black fern
Oh, come out. There we go. It is just going to get glued on like that. Don't go overboard with the glue because it will squish out. So I just put a little dot on each one. Sometimes I miss a leaf, doesn't matter. My glue doesn't want to come out. Alright, that's enough. Press it down. Now I need a white strip for our sentiment. You can do this. Use whatever sentiment um, you want. Oh, my blocks are so dirty. Sorry, shaky, shaky. Okay, just going to hopefully get this straight. I'm going to need a big clean up after this. I have so much on my desk now. Oh, and I have the things over things. Oh. So that's just going to go there, but I don't want it quite as long. It's probably a little bit wide. So let me just trim this down. And here's another tip for you. So this is quite skinny and I can't hold it with the guide down. So a really good way is to hold it with washi tape. Right, just make sure that you're lining up one of the um, horizontal lines. Is that horizontal? Yes horizontal lines so then you know that it's straight providing that your paper is straight like that your yeah what you started with was straight just hold it down with a bit of washi tape and then it's not going to move and it's so easy to get the small cuts and the little bits off if you've made it a little bit wide like I did. Alright, gonna do the same, take a smidge off this side. Now I don't need much off this one. I don't want to cut into the sentiment. Hold it with the washi tape. And then we have a better sentiment piece. It's a cool little trick for you. All right, and then it's obviously too long, so I want to just trim it off a bit. I wanted to wrap some, um, what's it called, twine around it. So we've got this great black and white twine from the Playful Pets Suite. pop some double-sided tape on the back just so it can hold the twine in place while I wrap it around make sure I get the right end and if you have trouble getting the end up of your tape use your pointy end of your take your pick tool slide it underneath and lift that off that works great on uh, dimensionals too if you can't get the backing off Right, so I'm just going to actually I want a little bit to tie, so I'm gonna just that's too far over. There we go. So it's not gonna move around everywhere while I'm trying to wrap it around now. It's pretty much gonna stay in place. Right, 
And again, wash is my friend. When you're trying to tape, tie things and they're moving everywhere, just tape it down. And that makes it much easier. It's not going anywhere while you tie your bows or your knots or whatever. But um, do be careful. Some washies are stronger than others. And with our white cardstock, it will actually tear the cardstock. So um, if you think that's going to happen, just um, pull the washi on your skin like this a few times, on and off. And then it'll take a lot of the stickiness off, but it will leave enough that it will still work for what you need it to do. All right, so trim them off. Oh no, it's stuck with a double-sided tape anyway. I could have done without that washi. Never mind. And this is going to have dimensionals on it, which I can't find. Um, hold on, hold on. Wait. Look, there's so many sheets like this with just the edges. I'm trying to find a full sheet. Got to be one in here somewhere. Oh, I found one. That's a little. I want the big ones. No, they're, oh look, all I can find is little ones, I'll do. Okay, and then we're just going to stick this on over our um, end of our die cut here. I didn't bother putting glue on that because I knew the sentiment was going to cover it. And I would have got glue everywhere anyway. So hopefully that is straight. And there's our first card. So what's your favourite, the blues or the pinks? So that's a bit distracting having all that there. <laughs> blues and the pinks. So see how that changes the look of the card? I think that's a much more serene looking card. Just the blues. But I, I like this one as well. So there you go, that's the first one. Now the second one is a little bit... Um, it's modelled on the same card, it's just a slightly different design. So for this one, if I can find my card, because I have misplaced the card. Wait, found it. Alright, so this one I've just put the designer series paper as the first layer. And um, I work in inches, so my measurements for my first layer, because I do a lot of cards but I, I do design series paper as my my layer my first layer and I keep it pretty simple it's four inches by five and three quarters because the cards the fronts the way I cut them they come out at four and one eighth by five and seven eighths so I want to get a little bit of this stripe that's okay so then they're just like um, an eighth an inch so an eighth an eighth an inch that's hard to say, an eighth of an inch smaller all the way around just to get that white frame. Right, and that card's not folded that great, but it'll do. So it just gets glued straight on. Whoops. Okay, love them both, but lean towards the blue one. Yeah, I think the blue one's much more calming effect. Hang on, I need a drink. Oh my gosh, you've been on here forever. Right, let me clean some of this mess up. Clean as you go. Right, now we've got a white layer, a black layer, and then our top stamped layer. So, if I start with a top stamped layer, that is two and seven eight inches by three and a half. So, I'm going to cut that one first. Three and a half. By two and seven eighths. I don't know whether you can see this. Two and seven eighths is there. And yes, that looks right. 
So then our next layer, our black layer, is just an eighth of an inch bigger all the way around. So if that was three and a half, we now have three and five eighths. by three because that was two and seven eighths and you watch me get one of these wrong because I've got all these numbers running around my head so you just put it on top and check that there's an eighth of an inch all the way around yes then we need another white layer which I've forgotten my measurements already <laughs> all right so this is three and five eighths so now this needs to be three and a Quarter, three and three quarters, sorry. By this was three. So now we do three and one quarter, and I've got the wrong. No, nope, that's right, three and a quarter. If this works out, then I'd be amazed because all those numbers were just mush in my head. We have our black layer, it's a little bit bigger, but hey, you know, I'm going to live with it. This makes it a little bit different. No, it's I want it the same. I've got to trim some off. Eighth of an inch off this one, I think. I'll get there in a minute. Hang on. Alright, fingers crossed this is right. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, so for this layer that goes on top, we're just going to do exactly the same thing as we did last time. With our three different inks. Oh, and I'm running out of room. Time, big time. Right. I've lost my stamp cleaner now. I buried it. Someone else, I'm sure everyone else gets the same predicament. When you're creating, you just end up with so much around you, you can't move. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Alright, so I'm going to start with our Daffodil Delight. Again, stamping off. Top, clean our stamp, grab the pumpkin pie. Thank you for everyone who's hanging around. I know I've been on here for an hour because my watch has now told me for the second time I need to get up and move. <laughs> yeah, oh no, so lots of steps I need to do. And now our Mellow Man Bow. Back to our Daffodil Delight. And you know what you could do, like, when I'm stamping off here, what you could do is have another piece of Whisper White cardstock to the side and stamp off onto the, the Whisper White cardstock and then you have that bit of paper you can die cut from um, or cut into different shapes to use as elements on your projects. I keep thinking of doing that every so often and then I get carried away with creating and go, oh, I should have done that. All right, there we go. That's now all done. And I've buried the card that I'm copying, so hang on, I'll get that back out. Right, so we're copying this one. This now just gets laid up on our layers, gets glued to the. No, what have I done? No, I've glued the black one to the back white one. And then that front one is being put on with dimensionals. So I'm just going to glue Okay. 
then this is on with dimensionals <laughs> wait I want to start a new pack let me get one already got out here we go I just have to use lots of these because they're so little <laughs> so I'm showing my pile somewhere on my desk I have the full size dimensionals but it's okay we make do What was the extra backup one? <laughs> okay. Now, it seems like it's hard to line these up because it's raised and once it's on, it's staying on. You don't have a chance to pull it back up and try again. I always start down the bottom and I get like I, I hold it up with my fingers so it's not actually sticking down yet and I just sort of get it measured because if it's equal all the way around then I should be able to get equal width down the equal down the bottom to the sides and then I know when I put it down the top theoretically if I cut it right it should be the same so that's sort of like equal all the way around and then I sort of gently just let it all and fingers crossed and we should be even doesn't always work and it sounds good in theory sometimes this is not easy to do <laughs> all right another die cut with our leaf sun's going away oh no it's gonna rain is it it's probably a storm coming Kathy you might have got the storm yesterday afternoon did you if you're still watching that beauty of a storm that went through. We got the very edge. We're sitting out the back watching it rain, like, like the 30 drops that we got. And because we like storms, and I was going, oh, maybe it's going to hail. On the bomb, it looked like it was going to hail. We went, went around us. I think we got like five bits of hail, but they landed and, and melted straight away. So it might be another storm brewing. That's it. It's getting a bit dark here, the sun's gone away. That or I've been on here for hours and it's getting tea tea time. <laughs> I don't think I've been on that long. Yes, you had rain and hail. Was it Thursday, was it? I don't know, every day's the same. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to stick that on there. And then I just realised I didn't do my sentiment on here. And now I can't do it because I've got dimensionals on there. So we're going to improvise and we're going to do it on a little bit of cardstock and stick it on with dimensionals. See, I shouldn't talk too much and then I wouldn't miss, miss crucial steps, would I? It is what it is and that's the fun of crafting. And, you know, there's no such thing as a mistake. It's just a chance for embellishment. Isn't that the same? Okay, we are nearly done. You're all going, yay! Alright. Now, that just gets glued straight to the front. You could put another layer like dimensionals on there to raise it more, but I don't want to. Last night was fine because she went for a wander to bite. Oh, never been to bite markets. Any good? We really need to get out of this house more. <laughs> and where are they? I saw an ad actually yesterday, a little thing on the side of the road. Um, bite markets. I don't know where they are. I should look these things up, shouldn't I? Okay. Now our centre, I'm just going to use this bit of white cardstock I've got here. And we're going to make another um, label. Not too bad. Mm. Alright. Now I need my washi again because I need to cut this smaller. Off the Cannon Road exit. Oh, okay. I don't know where that is, but anyway. Is 
Is it Moray Field? Is it Caboolture? Three years. I have no excuse for not knowing my way around yet. Do I? No. Does that look crooked? Mm, no, that's going to have to do. Yeah, more I feel. Okay, cool. You know, I still haven't been to the Kayser Craft Shop. That's really bad of me, isn't it? But why would I want to go buy Kayser Craft when I've got all the beautiful Stan Love stuff to use? Hmm. I don't want to trim that tail. Actually, let's make this a little bit different. Dog friendly too. Cool. Can't take our, our dog. Oh my gosh. He's a Houdini. Gets out of his harness. I think he's between sizes on his harness. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to go through that again when we took him for a walk and then all of a sudden the harness is like on the ground and the dog's poof off in the sunset. That was so scary. Okay, let's um, put that there. I don't want to put it over this side because I don't like seeing that little bit of tail of the die cut. So I'm going to make an executive decision and move it over here. Okay, dimensionals because I do want to raise this. And then we are done. Oh my goodness, how long have I been on here? This is a long time. What is the time? I know what the time is. I started at 2, so I don't know, my phone's probably about to go flat. Oh, it's 4 o'clock. Is it 4 o'clock? Are you kidding? Is it 4 o'clock? I just looked at my watch and it says 4 o'clock. <gasps> oh my gosh, that is ridiculous. There we go. Just as well, I have finished now. Now you can tease these up by adding rhinestones if you want. Um, that'd look really nice. But there is our, the four cart, there is our, that was very good English, not. There are the four cards that we just made, I've just made, you watched me make and rattle on. <laughs> See how changing the colour can change the total look. And yet yeah, I hope you've picked up lots of um, tips and tricks today and you've enjoyed watching me um, craft and carry on. And don't forget, um, today I have my ordering bonus, ordering special. Every um, order placed with me today gets a box of card bases. So there's no limit to your order. Um, there's no minimum to an order. So just have your order placed on my online shop today or have you your emailed list to me or have your or call me with your list um, and you'll get one of these boxes of card bases. Thank you so much. Sue, you deserve a medal, my dear. It is after midnight and you are still watching. Thank you so, so much. You're awesome. You've been stamping for 20 plus years and you've learned a few things. Oh, that's really nice that I had something that you... um could take away that's brilliant thank you again so much for watching go and enjoy the rest of your day or evening go to bed if you're on the other side of the world go to sleep <laughs> um, have a rest of a wonderful Saturday everyone and stay safe keep well and if you're around on Wednesday 2 p.m. Brisbane time come back if you dare and I'll be crafting again not for as long but I'll be here again Wednesday, 2 p.m. And I'll see you then. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.